What's up everybody, my name is Scott Waters, welcome to Life to Metal. It is time for another edition of... The Mail! That's right, time for edition of... The Mail. And this edition of The Mail is brought to you by Jim Willis, Guilty Forgiven. Uh, Jim, who is, um, been around the VC for, I would say, six months to a year, um, building his collection, has a hefty collection of, uh, of Christian rock and metal. Um, yeah. <laughs> he's got a very cool music room that he's shown several times with lots of cool stuff hanging up everywhere. And uh, he sent me this box, which he didn't need to send me, but he did anyhow. So I thought I'd just open it up on camera. I got my handy knife. And we're going to go ahead and open up the box. All right, so what we got in here? Is a bag from Record Alley. And these are cool bags because uh, I take them to record shows. And there's some um, records wrapped in plastic. <laughs> the plastic wrap. Alright. Oh, first of all, well, let's not throw things on the floor. What we got here is. <laughs> this is very cool. BCLT for Scott Waters. That's awesome. And this is one of those boards that's been around the VC. One of those stiffeners. Eh, stiffener. Um, let's see who we got in here. We got Greeno, EJD715, Ron. Oh, this one, I had this one one time. Jim, of course. Big, 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 bop, boom. Um, yeah, this one's been around a little bit. Uh, so it's going to continue to move around because that's just too cool to not send off to somebody else. I don't know, man. That's pretty cool. I might just keep that one for me. We'll see. Uh, and then on the below, it's got a uh, collector's card for one of my favorite bands, King's X. I always thought King's X should have been much, much bigger than they were. Great band. There's a lot of stuff in this package. A lot. All right, we got seven singles. <laughs> Judas Priest, Johnny Be Good. Um, from there original motion picture soundtrack um, backed up with uh, Rocky Roll Around the World and uh, the thing about Johnny Good is it, it was a cool idea for the movie and never should have been added to the album it should have stayed a single and stayed as this because I actually think it's probably one of the uh, worst songs on that album but anything Priest is collectible to me so I'm very glad to have this 7 inch in my collection um, Rocky Roll Around the World is um, I can't remember if that was on the album. I don't think it was. I think it might be exclusive to this single. Oh, this is cool. Close My Eyes Forever, Lita Ford and Ozzy Osbourne. I'm a huge fan of Lita, especially in her Runaways days, but I do like a lot of her 80s stuff as well. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is a Kiss single for Turn of the Night, Turn on the Night, Turn on the Night, and Hell or High Water. That's cool. Very cool. Wow, this is um, a seven inch single for profit, sound of a breaking heart, back with Cycle of the Moon, and uh, oh, it's Zara Smith, Ragdoll, Ragdoll, living in a movie, I like that song, <laughs> back with, uh, I can't, I shouldn't know this one, but I don't, Ragdoll, back with, oh, St. John. And man and jewelry. Yep. All right. Seven inch singles. I love seven inch singles. Those are cool. Um, he could have just sent that, and I would have been more than happy. Like I said, he didn't have to send anything. So you got your saran wrap here. <laughs> All right. Like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, John is a big Christian rock and metal fan. So what do you think he hooked up with? Petra on fire. One of the Petra albums I did not have. Probably their heaviest album right here. One of the more rocking albums for sure. Um, pushes the line. Almost almost a 80s style metal album here. And a great cover art. I love that art. Oh, right on. Daryl Mansfield. Higher Power. I have very, very little from Daryl Mansfield. He's a hard rock slash blues artist. Um, I have one of his blues albums on cassette tape. Actually, he's a Mansfield uh, Manfield, let me try it one more time. 
Mansfield uh, Kaiser release. And that's cool. I, I've never heard this one, so this is a uh, this has got to be fairly early. 70s, 1979. <laughs> one of my favorite. This is not metal or hard rock whatsoever, but one of the ones I was missing from my collection. I love this artist, Keith Green. This is, uh, so you want to go back to Egypt. Just something about, the, about his music that it just, it's very relaxing to me. I really enjoy Keith Green's music. Uh, I call him a, a CCM artist. And one more, Keith Green. I only want to see you there. Very cool. Um, I have three or four Keith Green albums. Don't have either one of those. Oh, and finally, right on. This is awesome. This is Daniel Band Rise Up, Canadian hard rock heavy metal band from the late 70s and early 80s. Um, they had five or six albums. I can't remember the top of my head now. Um, I was only missing one. That's where it is right there. Um, of course, you know they got to be decent because three out of the four guys have epic mustaches, right? What do we know about metal? Epic mustache means good music, right? Obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, I, this is a good album. I do have this on, uh, on CD. Do I? You know what? I don't even have it on CD. So there you go. Daniel Band. Uh, rise up. And that is it. That is an awesome package from Jim. Jim Willis, do check his channel out. Um, he does a lot of vinyl updates. Very cool guy. Uh, can't say enough good things about him. Um, I'm friends with him on and off of YouTube. And uh, yeah, great guy. So that's it. I'll put a link below. Do check out his channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. God bless. Stay strong.